What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing something pretty cool guys. I don't think I've done, I haven't done this in like over a year and a half I think and we're going to be naming off my favorite WWE wrestlers or just wrestlers in general here today. I don't know if I've done a video like this in a while and I wanted to update you guys on who my favorite wrestlers are. I know a lot of you guys probably already know some of my favorite wrestlers but I figured why not go ahead and showcase them here today and just kind of run through you know why I love certain guys and you know just explain why I enjoy their, their wrestling, why I enjoyed their characters or whatever, you know, the case is with these people. So, uh, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. But first of all, we're going to start off with my honorable mentions. Alright, guys, so starting off with my honorable mentions, there are some that are not even featured right here, man. I mean, I'm just trying to narrow down the people that I really do like, but sometimes it's difficult, man, when you consider, I want to consider all time as well. That's why you have The Rock, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho's in AEW, but he is included here because I grew up on him. He was also one of my favorites growing up. Uh, Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle and RVD are three other guys that I really loved growing up and I still enjoy to this day. So, I mean, I, I gotta include those guys as well, but Samoa Joe, Mustafa Ali, AJ Styles, and Sami Zayn are some of those names that are not quite, you know, in my top favorites, but they are, you know, I, I do enjoy their work, I enjoy their characters and everything like that, so I did want to include them here. And uh, just give a quick shout out to these guys before we dive into uh, the next few guys that we're gonna talk about here today. But uh, I had to give a quick mention to these people and just give them the credit that they deserve and just mention them as I do love all of these guys. And some of these are actually on my top 10, like, all-time favorites. So um, I did want to mention those. But more of this video is more about current day wrestlers. So I did want to pay homage to the legends and the people I, I, I enjoyed growing up and uh, people that are not necessarily in the top ones of this video, but they are in my all-time favorites. So getting into some guys that, you know, are, are just sort of up-and-comers, you know, maybe they just hit the main roster, they're on their way to the main roster, or, you know, they're just getting started in WWE, or what have you guys. I'm going to name off these guys right here, and you will see them four on the screen. We have Ricochet, Adam Cole, Aleister Black, and Pete Dunne. I freaking love all four of these guys individually. They bring such unique things to the table. Um, if I had to pick one out of all four of these, I would probably pick Adam Cole. I just really love him, man. I think he is a fantastic talent. I enjoyed his work on the indies, and in, in PWG, and I enjoyed his work when he was in Bullet Club. He's just, a, he's a really good talent. He's very, very good, and I think when he makes the main roster, I think that WWE definitely needs to take advantage of his talent. Ricochet speaks for himself, guys. If you didn't know who he was before he came in WWE, dude was absolutely just ridiculous. Just all four of these guys tearing it up on the independent scene prior to, to making their way to WWE, but my God in heaven. I would also throw Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong in here as well. I don't have a Roderick Strong figure, so I could not include him here, but you guys know he's probably my favorite NXT talent as well. Him and Adam Cole are right there near the top, and I love them so much. So I had to include all of these guys, and uh, these are definitely some of my favorites. But now we're going to dive into more of near the top talents that uh, are near the top of my list as far as my favorite wrestlers are concerned, guys. But I had to, again, mention these guys just like the ones behind there, and uh, I had to include them. Alright guys, so getting into uh, a guy who also is pretty new into WWE and you know, I talk about him probably weekly on Twitter. I, I talk about him all the time here on the channel and this I just freaking love this guy and it is Cedric Alexander. He has my favorite finisher in all of wrestling outside of the RKO. I freaking love the lumbar check. I love the man's look. Uh, he was a very good uh, wrestler on the independent scene when I used to watch him in the independents and uh, he used to have much, uh, he, had, he had like a bunch of weight on him in the independent scene and prior to coming to WWE, you know, I think uh, to make that, that Cruiserweight tournament back in 2016, they told him, they said, look, you're going to have to cut down to 205 if you want to have a shot at this, or under 205, and that's what he did, and he's freaking shredded now. The dude's an absolute a, a beast. I mean, the dude puts on great matches weekly, and I'm just a big supporter of the man. I just like his style in the ring. I think he has sick gear. Uh, he's got a great look to him, and I think he has a bright future in WWE, and I'm going to be cheering my butt off tonight at Clash of Champions versus AJ Styles. Hopefully, he can win that U.S. title. You know, I don't think it's going to be quite his time yet, but I am going to be going for the man. So Cedric Alexander is definitely one of my favorite wrestlers in all of wrestling. Next up, guys, we're going to be getting into uh, some of my top favorites. These are, like, just my top favorites, uh, you know, without a doubt, just supported to the day I die. And the first thing that we'll get into, guys, is my boy Dolph Ziggler right here. You guys know how I feel about Dolph Ziggler. I have supported this man for a long, long time now. I mean, I, I just love his character. And uh, particularly, uh, I, I loved his heel work back in the day. I knew he could always put on great matches and, and promos and things of that nature. I've always loved his gear and his look and everything. But um, the main reason that 
that I really sympathize with this guy and why I can really relate to this character is which is why I really am a supporter of him. You know, when he had that baby face run in like 2016, you know, he had that like underdog value to him and you know, he was cutting those promos. I just identified with that so very much because in my sports career, my athletic career, I had that same mentality where like, uh, you know, I always proved myself. Anytime I had an opportunity, I would always prove myself. I would always show what I had in the tank and you know, I would prove myself and show that I was one of the better players on the team and stuff of that nature. And uh, I don't know what it was, but sometimes, you know, I would never get my shot sometimes. I would never get, you know, maybe the credit or maybe, you know, the, the observation that I deserved. And, you know, it wasn't about that, but it was more of just, you know, I, I know what I had in me and maybe I wasn't getting the opportunities that, uh, you know, I thought I deserved. So I just really identified with that character and those promos that he was cutting back then, guys, they really hit home with me and my athletic career. And I could really tie a lot to that and I could relate to that. So maybe, uh, you know, his career kind of embodies that as well. So it was really, you know, something that hit home with me and uh, I really love Dolph Ziggler with that and uh, he always rocks great at time. I mean, he's just a freaking beast. He proves it in the ring every single night. Dolph Ziggler is definitely one of my tops and he will always be. Moving on, guys, we have some dudes that uh, I grew up watching, or at least one of them right now. Uh, I love Matt Hardy to death, too, and I would probably include him in those honorable mentions because I freaking love Matt Hardy along with Jeff, but I do love Jeff, and anybody in my family will tell you guys that Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam were two of probably my biggest influences as far as wrestling is concerned. Like, guys, I would literally, growing up as a kid, uh, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy were actually the first match that I ever watched in, like, 1999 or 2000 when I was, like, three or four years old. And I would literally, like, I had this frog that I used to wrestle in my backyard on my trampoline, and I would genuinely climb up on top of my house and get in trouble many times from doing swanton bombs, frog splashes, and flips off of my house onto this frog that I would have, uh, you know, uh, made up matches with for championships in my backyard. That is a legitimate story. I had tag team wrestling with my friends and all kinds of stuff. I wish I had, like, footage of it and stuff, but I would, even my grandmother who lived across the street would catch me many times on top of the roof, and I would get in trouble for bailing off ladders and putting chairs and tables and stuff onto the trampoline and I would get in trouble and it's all thanks to this guy. So Jeff Hardy I will always be a big supporter of. I mean who doesn't love Jeff Hardy? I mean just super unique look, super unique moveset and uh, his daredevil stuff just makes him an over the top character and I, I freaking love Jeff Hardy. Next up, guys, we have a pair of wrestlers who are probably, you know, they're on their way to being, you know, the, the face of WWE, and, you know, they're probably... Actually, we have three guys right here. I'll go ahead and include these all three together right here, and these are probably uh, three of my top favorites, like, current day that, you know, still have a lot of in the tank left. They have a long career ahead of them still, and I know that uh, Finn Balor's like 35 or 36 years old, but I still think that he has a lot of time left in WWE. He's in impeccable shape, probably the best physique, in, or at least the best shape of any wrestler in WWE. And so Finn Balor is just somebody that I body with. Finn Balor is actually my biggest fitness inspiration, if you guys know that. You know, he is a big reason why, you know, I wanted to get right in the gym and get back to my same, uh, you know, my prime physique form. And uh, I owe a lot of that credit to Finn Balor. Seth Rollins as well. They just really uh, inspired me to get back in the gym. Not only, you know, this, there were some other things that tied into that. But if you guys saw my personal post on Instagram, you know, uh, about me, you know, wanting to get back into my prime physique and athletic prime, uh, you know, the way I used to be when I was younger. I mean, I'm still young. I'm still a freaking a young lad, but you know, I'm talking about back in the high school days, but Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and Kevin Owens are just fantastic talents. I mean, my God, if I had to rank uh, these three, I think it would be impossible. I think that these are my top three current wrestlers, you know, guys that still have a lot of in the tank left, and they're just, they're, they're amazing talents. I mean, they, they prove it. They put on great matches. They're independent guys who were on the come up. I think Kevin Owens is easily a top five performer in the world. I mean, all around, the dude can do absolutely anything you ask him to, and he's not like Finn Balor or Seth Rollins, guys. He's not freaking ripped up to shreds, and I think that's why he's relatable to a lot of people and why a lot of people enjoy him, but that's not even why I like him. I just love it because he's himself, and He's, he's very good at what he does. I mean, he's a top... He could be a top heel. He could be a top baby face. Anything you tell this man to do, he can do. He can go out there and rock it and kill it. I love his look. I love the different shirts and shorts combinations that he rocks. I like that he's got some ink now. You know, I, I love the kick. I like the kick pad look better. But you know, we'll we'll go with the boots. We'll go with the Kevin Steen look. Super athletics. He's just a super freak. I mean, my God, all three of these dudes are easily my top three favorites as far as again, as far as current active full main roster guys. These three, Dolph Ziggler. But I didn't want to include Dolph Ziggler and Jeff Hardy in this 
this main era right here because I feel like, you know, they've been in WWE so long that they still, you know, they're maybe, they're probably closer on the way out than these three guys are. However, uh, I just wanted to include these three together here, but Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins, easily three of my top guys, and they always will be. And into my top two guys, we have my second favorite wrestler of all time, and that is Randy Orton. Again, I didn't want to include him in the, the past few waves because this is literally, literally my second favorite wrestler to ever do it. I, I really enjoy all of his work. He's a fantastic heel. You know, he could have been a great baby face if he was booked correctly, I think. Uh, in 2017, that was a terrible run, but I just love the man's look. I think he embodies everything that a wrestler is. His promo work is fantastic. Uh, I think he's the best heel in the world right now, and I've literally watched this man go from, uh, you know, Ohio Valley Wrestling, you know, getting in 2002 in his debut match with Hardcore Holly, witnessing that all the way up till current day from when I was a child, and I pretty much grew up with this man as he came into his Hall of Fame status. So I think that was super awesome. And the same thing goes for my top wrestler of all time and my all-time favorite, John Cena. Uh, it's the same reason with him, guys. You know, I literally watched both of these guys go from literally nothing in the company until superstar Hall of Fame status and to what, you know, the, sort of what the standard is of a wrestler. So, I mean, I think that is that is really cool and something that I can tie with. I love the chain gang and the word life gimmick, obviously, the Doctor of Thugonomics gimmick with John Cena that first obviously got me hooked. Um, I remember when he first came out in 2002 versus Kurt Angle and I was like, who in the hell is this jackass I'm about to fight Kurt Angle right now? But fast forward and here we are and you know, he, he got super over. I just think he's a fantastic promo where he, he's literally just like Kevin Owens. You know, he's super athletic. He's got, he's athletic. He can cut the best promos that you've ever heard. I mean, he's freaking, he's the embodiment of, of what WWE is. And I think that's why a lot of people don't like him, but I think that's why he's, he's just the best. I mean, my God, I think next to Star Cold Steve Austin. He's probably the best all-around wrestler of all time. Next to his accomplishments, next to all the things he's done, I mean, my God, they, these are my two goats right here, and I think that will always stand until something crazy happens, and I'm not going to say, you know, one day, one of these people in this pile could surpass him. Who knows, guys? I mean, that's a, that's a possibility. I'm not saying it's impossible, but for right now, these are my two goats, and I don't see it changing anytime soon, but that is my background on all of these wrestlers, guys. I mean, if you want any more info down in the comment section below, you know, you can ask me a question or whatever, I will be glad to answer them. But I would love to know your favorite wrestlers down in the comments section. I know I had quite a pile here, but I did want to give some background knowledge on some of these guys and give you all the details on why they're my favorites and everything like that. But I appreciate it so much for you guys watching. I know that we uh, sort of dove into some background knowledge on all these guys, but I appreciate you sticking all the way through if you did. Um, we have Clash of Champions tonight. I'm super excited. Be looking for a review of the show coming tonight after the show is posted. I will put up my actual full show review. I will tell you all the results. I will go through all my personal thoughts and opinions on every single match and everything that happened at the show of Clash of Champions. Will we see The Fiend? We'll have to see. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.